Okay, today, folks, we are out in the woodlands, and we've got some uh, barbecue bees. Uh, I got a call, actually, this is from one of my coworkers, and um, they wanted to put their house on the market, and they discovered bees in the barbecue grill. Now, this is just a small swarm, you know, against the size of my hand. It's maybe the size of a large grapefruit, small cantaloupe somewhere in there, maybe about a pound and a half of bees. Uh, better than I thought. When she first sent me pictures, the bees were up here on the side and it looked like some scouts had been left behind or an after swarm. Uh, but this is now a couple days later, they're still here. That little comb they had started building on the inside of the lid fell off, but you can see they're starting to build new combs underneath. So what we're gonna do just real quick and easy, pick the screen up right here, set it right on my box and take them home. So probably one of the easiest removals in history. All right, let's see how well my plan works. Got my box set up here, put a little bit of lemongrass in it, and we're just gonna see if we can pick up the grill. It's loose, but it's heavy. All right, I gotta put the phone down and get two hands. All right, couldn't show you guys the move, but it's no big deal. We got them a little, little flighty now, but it's just because of the move. Um, but what I'm gonna do is go get my smoker and try to smoke these that are down in here, get them to run up and out and into the box, and we'll be done. So that's it. <laughs> Shy of uh, you know strapping an actual hive and just picking it up and moving the box, this was, I'd say, one of the easiest removals I've ever done. Um, I didn't even bother picking through them to look for a queen or see if they have one. I think they actually do. But once we get them home, I'll cut those combs, put them in frames, and take care of them. But for now, they're in the truck, and we're headed home. All right, so this is the uh, little barbecue grill bees that I brought home, and we're going to pop them open here. And I'm going to try to do a, a cutout, basically, get the combs off of this barbecue grill section and get them put into proper frames. So let me get the camera set up here and uh, let you all ride along for a change. All right. Take two. Got my smoker going here. Give me a little bit of smoke. And then let's get the lid off here. So all we're going to do is try to get them to come off of, try to get them to get off of the grill and onto another honeycomb. So I've got a couple of pieces of honeycomb around here. This piece should work fine. This is just an old piece of empty brood comb. Uh, it's not all loaded out with maggots or too nasty. Um, so I'm going to put this in, down in the box, give them something to run onto, and then I'm going to smoke them off of their current comb so I can work with them. So, I, just, I know y'all can't see everything I'm doing, but just to give you an idea, there's our bees hanging out there and a big old clump of them fell off just now when I picked it up but it doesn't look like the queen fell off excuse my big old nasty foot <clears throat> so I'm gonna lay my queen excluder on here just for a bit of a screen and I'm sorry I didn't pick the best spot for the camera but I'll just show you what I'm doing here let me pick the camera up so so here's our bees, um, there's their combs, and you can see just a little, little bit of smoke on them is all it took and got them to run off of that comb. So I'm going to cut the camera here while I smoke them off and I'm going to look for the queen and when I find her I'll show her to you. Well I can tell y'all, I was optimistic by the size of the cluster that they had a queen. But um, I don't see one yet, and I don't see any capped brood. Now, they've only been in this spot for a short while, so I'm trying to look close at the combs and see if there's any eggs or anything in them. It very well could be that it's just a bunch of leftover foragers that drew out these combs. They put some pollen in them, so they felt the need to pack in pollen. Oh, there she is. Little bitty virgin, I think. Maybe not a virgin, but a little queen, no less. Okay. Let me set this down where I can work on it. Off to the side here. Let me show you all the queen.
Well, here's our little queen. I know it can be hard to see sometimes, but you got a couple bees in the cage. Here's our queen right here, crawling up along the edge, trying to get out. You see when she turns, see how her abdomen is a little bit longer than her wings? Try to maybe get you a little bit better light. But that's definitely absolutely our queen right there. And I'm going to go ahead and pull her out of here and uh, mark her and uh, get started on cutting these combs. Okay, so from this point forward, we'll treat our little cutout here just like we would any other one. They really... Okay, there's egg. I see eggs in these couple of cells here. And maybe I can get a shot of that to show you, but really don't have a whole lot. That makes sense. They won't be... Oopsie! I mean, really, it's a it's small cluster, very small swarm, and they've only been here a couple days. So, like this little scrap of comb, it's just it's it's not worth moving. I can't feasibly put it into a frame and use it. It's got a little bit of nectar they put in there, probably just the sugar water that I've been feeding them. But we're gonna take that piece out and leave it. I want these two big middle pieces. That's the only thing I'm really gonna be able to salvage. Maybe I can get this third outside piece. But what we'll do. Got our empty frame here. Me a couple of rubber bands. <laughs> my rubber band bag is supporting the camera there. So there goes my rubber band, my camera shot for you. There we go. Get a few rubber bands. And see, even these little scraps of combs are really, you know, if I were doing a, a removal on a large colony, I wouldn't take these little bitty combs. Because they're almost not worth the hassle. But to try to replicate what the bees had in their old location, you can see how the combs are stacked together. Some people would maybe want to take these combs, put all three of them in one frame. But really, what that does, <coughs> that spreads out the bees and it spreads out your workforce. So I'm gonna put each comb in its own frame just as it would have been in the hive as they had it set up currently. So I'll get my rubber band set up here on my frames. Could have done that ahead of time, just didn't think to. Usually don't. All right. So with that, we'll take our first little comb here. And uh, just as a reminder, no veil, no suit, nothing necessary. Very nice bees. And uh, you know, or Ralph Jones, he's always joking about his killer bees and doing the same thing, but you know, he's not in a region of the world that's considered to have Africanized bees. Well, I am, so take that one, Ralph. My bees should be meaner than yours, but they're not. Nice bees. And see, these little combs, I'm strapping them in the frames and they're, they're not even, they're so tiny, they're not even holding on a rubber band. So. The bees right now, I put the queen down in the bottom of the box in her cage. They're crawling all over her. They're starting to take to that frame that I put in there. That empty comb I showed you all. And really, I would leave just that piece of frame and throw all this away. But, that piece of comb is too much for them to cover. So let me show you this. Those are larvae, tiny baby bees. And just to the outside edge, in the bottom of those cells, oops, let me get zoomed in on it here. Bottom of these cells here, looks like little tiny grains of rice. Right there. Those are the eggs. So it's an egg for three days and then it hatches into a larva. So you can see little teeny tiny larva here. Progressively larger larva towards the middle. So these are our oldest larva. Maybe, maybe a week old. Not very old. I just want to show you all that because people are always asking. There's some more eggs. What do eggs look like? What's the larva look like? So, all right, let me get back to cutting. So this is the piece I just showed, just got the eggs and larvae in it. Same thing, I'll just set it in here. Again, it's important to keep them upright, keep them just the way they were in the hive, best you can. And let's go ahead and take off our last one here. You can see what's funny is when the combs are real new like this, the bees tend to not be too dedicated to them, so just a little bit of smoke and they completely bailed on these combs. They said, nah, we're better off, we'll just go somewhere else. So, when they're new like that, they're not real committed. This comb's got uh, more eggs, tiny larvae, and a little bit of wet nectar up top, sugar water. I gave them a quarter sugar water last night when I got them home. 
actually last night about 10 o'clock, and they've already drank down over half of it, or almost half of it. So, little swarm like this, you need to feed them. They need the food. So now, our barbecue grill here is clean. Just got some bees on it, so we'll give it a shake. Jar them all off there. And I'm gonna set it outside the box and let them find their way in. And then their pieces of comb here that we had, we'll take, put them in. And as I start to pull stuff out, they should take back over those combs. This is our queen marking tube, by the way. The queen's inside there right now. That's why the bees are all over it. They want to be near her. So we'll get this put back together real quick and simple. You know, they're covering this piece of comb pretty well. I'm tempted to just give them that and maybe I will throw away all those little scraps of comb. Tell you what I'll do. I'm going to give them their scraps of comb, but I'm going to give them a piece of a frame with a piece of fresh foundation and see which they prefer. See if they want to <laughs> build out on their combs I gave them or the piece of the foundation. But for now, we're going to say this job's done. I mean, you guys saw what I had to do. Put the bees in the hive, and uh, we'll just keep an eye on them. But you know what? They got a little queen. She looks good. She's little, but I think she probably just made it recently. Um, and uh, we'll just take care of them for now. Uh, probably what I can do with this hive is actually combine it with another hive that's a little bit smaller and weak and reutilize that queen in a different hive so that I can make a, queen, a strong queenless hive queen right and make a weak queen right hive a little bit stronger. That, that's probably the ideal because a small hive like this, they're going to take an awful lot of babysitting to get them built back up. It's sometimes better to, to, you know, to reallocate your resources um, for the sake of the bees. So anyway, with that, this one's done. Jennifer and Rob, I just want to say thank you guys again for having me out to your place to get the bees. Very gentle bees. I'm happy to have them, and uh, I'm happy I could help y'all.